Hello and welcome to our video today where we're going to be talking about uh, a recent fine that the French government imposed on Google. I'm Chad Hill and I'm joined by Adam Stesser. Yeah, good morning, Chad. Google is obviously the dominant search engine. We all know that. They're currently at about 114 billion searches made each month on their search engine, and that pulls in a lot of ad revenue. They're on clip for a little over $38 billion in revenue uh, from ads in 2013. So, you, But they've been exploring new and interesting ways to uh, serve up personalized ads, and that has gotten the attention of regulators around the world. The breaking news today is what France has done, and they have leveled a $400,000 fine against Google uh, saying that Google failed to change their privacy policy, which was something they gave them three months to do earlier this summer. So we've got some interesting politics coming down as this fight for privacy and what ads I can show and what I can do with your data starts to come to fruition here. So what's the real issue? Let's dig into this. Yeah, well, I think the first thing is you want to look at, like, what, what did France specifically ask Google to do? And so I've got four things they asked for. They wanted Google to define how the data would be used, how the data is collected and how long it will be kept, cease unlimited combination of data across services, and I think that's the real that's the real uh, important one here. And the fourth was it inform users and get consent before storing cookies, which also again is a pretty big burden. So I think those last two probably are the ones that are the, the most contentious because what Google's trying to do, as you said, Adam, is as they develop other franchises, it started with search, but they now have um, Google Apps and they're working on Google Plus. They want to combine all the information that they're getting from you across all those services to probably, you know, likely enhance the service itself, but also, as you said, to better serve ads. And so, you know, that idea that they have to get your explicit uh, permission as you move from service to service really does create a little bit of a burden, and it also probably diminishes their um, uh, sort of the business case they've made for these other investments they're making. Right, and so the French regulators said to Google, we're not happy with this, you've got three months to comply, and then Google, what did it say in response? They basically did not comply, although they've got a statement here, I'll read a quote here, our privacy policy respects the European law and allows us to create simpler and more effective services. So I think they're, they're taking this head on. Maybe they're viewing the $400,000 fine just as too small to care. But I think that's probably not the case. They're more looking at the precedent. And they're probably, as you said, Chad, they need this, uh, th this way of doing business. And they don't want to set a precedent where other governments will start following suit behind the French and start coming after them. So it's uh, admittedly a gray area as we forge through what this new internet-based economy means with this search giant having pretty much, most people are now calling it a monopoly uh, in this space. So it, it'd be very interesting to see what happens. And I know you, you and I were chatting just a little bit about some of the other uh, things going down around Gmail and privacy there. I guess some recent uh, turmoil in California here in the United States. Yeah, absolutely. There was a, a recent case. I read an article over the weekend about that where um, there was a, a federal court that said there was a, a case around whether or not the way that Gmail inspects your email for serving ads around it, whether that somehow violated the wiretapping um, laws that, that the U.S. government has. So as you said, Adam, there's a, it's a brave new world out there, and what often happens here, and it certainly has played out in some of the um, you know the, the monopoly um, claims, is that a lot of times the laws that are on the books don't really are kind of hard to apply to these these cutting edge businesses and Google is really as cutting edge as it gets so I think that a lot of people expect the EU to be probably the the um, uh, you know ultimately where a lot of the the shakeout goes down because they have more uh, stringent laws on privacy than the US does but it's going to be very interesting to watch this over the coming years I think I think it's going to be fascinating, particularly with the Android operating system gaining steam and seeming now to overtake Apple in terms of uh, embedded OS on mobile devices. So this issue of privacy and following people around now on a mobile device where it actually has GPS information about exactly where you're standing on this earth. I mean, this is just going to be a fascinating thing to watch uh, as it unfolds. So we're very interested in your thoughts and what your opinions are about Google and their uh, use of your data and privacy on the internet. Please share them with us in the comments and we hope you will subscribe to our videos.